Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, the timeline for wet weather unfortunately starts uh, overnight tonight, but more so tomorrow morning through the afternoon, all of Friday night through at least Saturday morning. And then Saturday afternoon is sort of a drying trend, clearing out Saturday night and then Sunday clearly is the better day. In fact, all day sunshine, warm and dry. In the meantime, clouds are streaming in, no precipitation yet, but we see some uh, showers already approaching Block Island and offshore, and that's headed our way during the overnight. So streets in downtown Providence are dry. The wind is calm. Temperatures cool, but not as cold or as cool as what we had this time last night. Mid and upper 50s, 57 Providence and Bristol, though New Bedford is cooler now with a temperature at 50. So showers uh, likely for tomorrow. The plan is to have them just very, very light. And don't look for downpours for the morning commute. And as we get towards later in the afternoon, especially tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, uh, becoming steadier and, and a little heavier. As far as the weekend goes, that precipitation extends into at least Saturday morning, seeing signs that it dries out Saturday afternoon, but the clouds remain. We don't really clear until Saturday evening, Saturday night, and then Sunday looks gorgeous. And really, Sunday marks day one of multiple days next week. Look at this, Monday through Thursday of next week. Sunshine, warm and dry. Warm meaning, you know, temperatures in the mid-70s. Clouding up precipitation just offshore. It extends down through the uh, mid-Atlantic. Uh, this is all streaming to the north uh, for the next day, day and a half. Area of low pressure developing and tracking uh, just off the coastline. So we set this into motion and take you into tomorrow morning at around 9 a.m. with very light precipitation, light showers and drizzle. As we get towards the afternoon and especially towards tomorrow evening, becoming a bit steadier and a bit heavier. Now we jump ahead to Saturday morning at 8 a.m. Area of low pressure is well offshore, but the moisture extends into southern New England at least during the morning. Drier air to our north and west doesn't get in until Saturday afternoon. Then the whole system moves away Saturday night. It clears out and here we go. As soon as we wake up on Sunday morning, the sun is out, turns into a beautiful day. As far as excessive rainfall, a big concern for Long Island, New York, New York City and Southwest Connecticut. We have some computer guidance forecasting over six inches of rain in this red area. If you have family and friends that live here in New York City, you know, keep you updated. For our area, it's just a marginal to slight risk of excessive rain. So the, the, the risk is higher right in here. This is where we have flood watches. It does not include our area, though we will be getting rain, obviously. So for tomorrow morning, it's very light, scattered gray skies and cool some patchy fog. Temperatures in the upper 50s and showers likely during the afternoon. As we get towards evening and tomorrow night, the precipitation starting to pick up. Bay forecast, poor visibility on one to two miles and scattered showers and fog. Seven day forecast uh, for a beach forecast with showers and fog and temperatures in the mid 60s. Seven day outlook showing better weather on Sunday with sunshine and temperatures in the uh, lower 70s. The walk to end Alzheimer's this weekend, Saturday and situate Sunday in Providence. Rain or shine, a little damp on Saturday, but we'll do okay and, and real nice on Sunday. Not going to be a problem no. on Saturday, trust me. <laughs> All right, Tony, thanks.